Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Hey, tonight was on my night. I lost. Uh, but I just want to say thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. I'll be back stronger than ever. Now it's time to go home with my beautiful wife and uh, have our baby. Ooh, glory stays ahead of me. Stipe Miocic getting knocked out by Daniel Cormier the day after stay tuned what up fight world it's your boy ego and i'm back with some more fighting make sure you smash the like button also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing in fighting if you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations the venmo donations and the patreon family we work in box the ego your man ego here back with the day after ufc 226 main event definitely delivered and that was stipe miocic putting everything on the line he came up short against daniel cormier in a heavyweight bout unlike the fight that preceded this fight the co-main event with francis Ngannou and black beast lewis this fight delivered it was an action-packed affair both guys were landing some strikes and getting off with their shots and ultimately in the first round stipe miocic got caught he got caught with a, a flush short shot from cormier who says he looks and feels better at the weight not doing such a massive weight cut to make the division below and cormier had him out and then just the ground a pound ref seen enough stipe miocic was on the mat lifeless not responding not fighting back and even when the ref waved it off stipe was so cloudy it looked like it took a minute for him to gather himself where he was and then he kind of protested the stoppage but even as he was doing that he was stumbling about so very good stoppage it was a good fight it was competitive what more could you ask for from daniel cormier or stipe miocic it's, it's a fight you know so this is one of the possible outcomes really impressed with daniel cormier i thought he did his damn thing and even though he had experience at the heavyweight division, he's flexed his weight and he's dropped back down to the light heavyweight category and he's done what he had to do. So definitely you got to put Daniel Cormier up there in terms of longevity and what he's able to do even later in his career. He said post fight that he believes he still has more fights. He said, I can't just leave. A lot of people say right off into the sunset, you just went back up to heavyweight knocked out stipe and, and just leave on that note a high note and he's like i still feel good i still feel fresh basically i'm paraphrasing so why should i do that why should i just hang it up right now i still feel like i could compete i'm a competitor and he showed you that so there's a lot of money also opportunities brock lesnar in true ufc slash wwe fashion brock lesnar got in the cage and he pushed daniel cormier cormier responded with something like push me now and get slept later so that's easily a fight two world-class wrestlers two heavyweights name known guys that that have been in the ufc game been in the wrestling game you know have names that could fight so i don't see cormier from what everything i've seen i don't see him retiring as far as stipe miocic you guys seen the clip at the beginning his face was really banged up and this to me was an indication even though he was doing good he was landing some shots and cormier had to find a way on the inside the mistake to me that stipe made in fighting cormier i think he underestimated him you know cormier said this post fight he was saying everybody was sleeping on me everybody was counting me out or i was hearing through the grapevine a lot of people were like oh you're gonna go in there stipe is gonna destroy you you're gonna get knocked out and i know that has to be such a relief you know internally what you can do but being able to show the world cormier did just that but to shut up all the doubters i'm sure was a monumental type of um victory for him right because it's, it's beyond just beating a guy it's like everything was pitted against you right nobody believed in you no oh suicide he's too old he's past prime he's moving back up to heavyweight to fight a heavyweight with a lot of momentum and then to knock him out in that fashion but again to me the the mistake as you can see from the thumbnail and the picture and the um video that i aired earlier is stipe being the taller bigger guy and the guy with more consecutive fights at heavyweight he didn't really fight tall and he allowed for an inside fight in close quarters and he got caught with the short shot now i know it's a fighting it's combat sports anybody could get caught but 
I think he should have used his range a bit more because it was it was almost too easy. As soon as Cormier, they were like in close quarters, kind of looked like a clinch. And as soon as Cormier freed his hand, he boop and just hit him on the chin, right on the right on the money, right on the button. He seen him fall, jumped it, went for the kill. And that's what you got to respect about Cormier. You know, even in the previous division, Cormier doesn't always knock a guy out with, with a knockout or TKO punches. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's submission or decision wins. So he must be feeling good at this weight. Him and his buddy Cain Velasquez, I'm sure he gets world class uh, sparring and work and tips and different stuff like that. So I'm really happy for Cormier. Stipe, he can bounce back. Um, his performance wasn't like Francis Ngannou, who doesn't look like he's been the same since Stipe, since the Stipe loss. And then he just took another back-to-back -back loss by Derek Lewis. So I think Stipe can come back. He said he wants a rematch for now. He's worried about he's having a baby in the next couple of days, I believe. So him and his wife are going to, they're expecting, and he's going to prepare for that. He says he didn't really have, he was, he was acting, you could just tell he was hurt, you know, from the post-fight commentary and the post-fight press conference. He was just hurt, upset that the night didn't go his way. He, he was just like real short, like, hurry up, let's get this, let's get this done. All right, good good job to Cormier. Like, you know, he was just real short. And it's understandable. You got a lot of emotions. It was um, a lot of implications for this fight, you know. Stipe had the opportunity to be the heavyweight with the longest run. The other thing is, you got you to gotta put this in, in a perspective for Cormier, too, is that Stipe is arrogant. He has an arrogant, cocky demeanor. He was like, you know, I'm the GOAT. I'm the greatest. Like, nobody's fucking with me type thing. So... I know that I had to be like when Broner lost to Madonna in boxing, you know, just one of those moments where you're like, damn, I said all that and I wasn't able to fully deliver. So I'm sure he had a lot of emotions swirling. Let me know what you guys think the day after Stipe's face looked pretty busted up. Again, I think that's something he should have and could have done a bit different because why is his face looking like this against the smaller, shorter guy? who hasn't been a permanent resident at, at the heavyweight division, and his face looks all tattered up after one round. Meanwhile, he fought an enormous puncher who had momentum in his last fight with Francis Ngannou. You know, if he hits you right, you will be out of there, just like Alistair Overeem versus Ng Ngannou. But he fought more of a methodical, measured approach. So it just seems like he underestimated. I'm not making any excuses, but I think he underestimated. He's like, okay, this this dude's a older. You know, he's been through some wars and tough fights and different things like that. He's coming up to my division. I got the momentum, and he underestimated Cormier, and then he was uh, in for a rude awakening. But I think Stipe should have fought more of a measured approach like he did with Ngannou, respected that man's power, set up his combinations, his strikes, a bit more instead of just landing what you can land because before the fight he when he was like in the locker room and walking and stuff he looked extremely calm but maybe a little bit too calm and not aware of the power and maybe even the increased power that cormier would have in moving up and not having such a massive weight cut because to be honest cormier i don't even know how he i don't even know if he can go to 205 now the way he looked you know, so I don't even know if he plans on going back down because he he's already had that that towel gate where he weighed in on his tippy toes and all that, and he he looked pretty pretty mass wise, weight wise he looked pretty big, but that's that's my thoughts. The day after Stipe's face looked pretty battered and, and tattered up, and this was only after one round. You know, I understand he got he got like flicked in the eye or, or the, the fingertips, Cormier's fingers went in his eye and whatnot, but it still doesn't excuse all the bruising, the bruising and the reddening and stuff of his face. So I think he kind of underestimated a man and then got into a dog fight with the shorter person and got caught for his troubles. Let me know what you guys think. What do you want to see next for Cormier? What do you want to see next for Stipe? And how does John Jones fit in this? If you have any updates or have seen anything, about John Jones, his replies. Let me know that in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next videos, Ego Sun and all. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.